Hi everyone! Hope you're having a great day. In today's video, I want to share with you all of Poshmark's secrets. So what we're going to do is jump into the app and I'm going to show the screen on the side here and I'm going to go through with you how to find these features, what they do, how they can help you with your reselling business, and if you enjoy shopping on Poshmark, there's a few features that you might not know about that are good for shopping as well. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to start with bundles because it's the best part. Here we are in the Poshmark app. We're currently on the feed. What we're gonna do is go over to our profile by clicking on our username in the bottom corner and then click on my closet. Now you can see your closet and at the very top you'll see your username. Beside that you'll see a little shopping bag icon which if you click takes you to your bundles. You can either look at your bundles that you're shopping so anything that you've personally added to a bundle from another person's closet or that they have added to a bundle for you, you can shop any of those bundles here. If you go over to the cell, you can see any bundles that you have created for somebody else or that they have started themselves when shopping your closet. If you click on view bundle, you can go into one of the bundles and you'll see any items that they've added to their bundle at the top. You'll see any messages between you and this person and any likes that they have from your closet. Here's where the fun part starts. At the very top of the screen, you'll see the person's username, bundle, and then three little dots. If you click those three dots, you'll see a couple of options. Share to bundle, view a style card, bundles from my closet, switch the shop view and learn more. Share to bundle is useful because if the person wants anything additional from your closet, let's say this person that has a sweater and a pair of jeans in their bundle currently wants to know if I have any more jeans in their size and in that style. So it's an Abercrombie and Fitch jegging dark wash skinny jeans in a size two. What I can do is click on the three dots and click share to bundle. It'll take me over to my closet and then I can filter my closet for jeans in a skinny leg and also filter it for the person's size, which is a size two. And I'm also gonna look for a size 26 because they're equivalent. And there we go. You can see any listings that I can share directly to this person. If I press the share button on one of these items, You'll see that posture's name right there beside the search button. So you don't have to search for their name. You can just click their profile picture there and it'll share that item to them. Okay, let's go back to their bundle and look at the next item. Click the three dots again and you'll see view style card. This one is very helpful. Whenever you click it, you'll see the sizes that they wear in women, kids, and men. You'll see any purchases that they've made from you, and you'll see any love notes that they've given and any brands that they like. The purchases part is the part that's really exciting for me because it's so hard to remember if a person has bought from you previously whenever you're making a lot of sales on Poshmark. So with this, if ever I come across a buyer that's liking a bunch of things from my closet and I'm like, mm, I have a feeling this person's bought from me before. I can go to the three dots and click on their style card and then see, oh yes, this person has bought from me before or no, this person has never purchased from me. It's extremely useful for any repeat buyers. So anytime that I see somebody has purchased from me, I, I can give them a better deal and I can tell them in the messages, hey, thanks for coming back. Like acknowledge that they have purchased from you before and that you recognize that they are a repeat customer. Okay, now I wanna show you what I do whenever I receive a like on Poshmark. So I'm gonna go over here to my news and I'm gonna go over at the very top, there's a bunch of different options. I'm gonna scroll until I see likes. 
and I'm going to click on likes and I can see all of the likes that I've received and it tells me when I received that like. I'm going to click on the first person. I'm going to follow them so that I know that they have interacted with my closet. I'm going to click at the very top of the page beside their username, the little profile picture with the shopping bag next to it. This takes me to my bundle, which is if I was shopping anything from their closet, it would show up here. However, I don't want to see what I'm shopping from them. I want to see what they are shopping from me. So I'm going to hit the three dots and I'm going to switch to cell view. Now I'm in their bundle. And if I scroll down, I can see any likes that they have from my closet. In between the like button, the little heart icon, and the share button is a little shopping bag with a plus. I'm going to click that to add that item to their bundle. And then I'm going to click on the item and I'm going to offer them a discount by pressing the offer slash price shop button at the very bottom across from the price. And then I'm going to click offer to likers private and I'm going to click the calculator, 10% off and a shipping discount. And then I press submit. I give a 10% off offer to every person that likes an item from my closet currently as soon as I see that they've liked an item. I give them 10 minutes typically after they like an item and then I send them an offer just to see if they'll pay full price for it. Next I'm going to go back and that takes me back to their bundle and I'm going to write a comment to them. I have pre-saved comments in my phone. If you have an iPhone, you can also create a shortcut so that you can only type a few words and then a full message will appear as an auto replacement and you can click that so you don't have to type the entire message every single time you want to send a message to a liker. So my auto saved shortcut is Poshlike. So if I type that out, you can see that my iPhone wants to autocorrect it to this message down here. If I press space, it'll automatically autocorrect it for me. And my message says, hi, thanks for the like. If you are interested in bundling, I'm currently offering 20% off bundles of two or more. If you want this item only, I have sent a private discount, which I did. I sent them a 10% off offer before writing this message out. So with this message, my goal is to let them know that if they want to bundle, they will receive a better deal. It's to encourage them to bundle, but if they don't want to bundle, if they're only interested in this one item, it also lets them know that I've sent them an offer on it. I'm going to post that and that's it. That's all I do whenever I receive a like. The reason that leaving a comment is very helpful is because if the person is not super active on Poshmark and they don't see that you sent an offer until later, that offer might no longer be available. They're only good for 24 hours. But if they go through their notifications, they'll see this comment in their comments notification area. And then they can reach out and say, hey, I missed your offer. Can you send it again? Which has happened to me multiple times. They might not receive a lot of comments on Poshmark. So your name might be right up there at the top of their notifications for a really long time. Now keep in mind, if you don't want to send a 10% off offer and a shipping discount, you can get around that by going to a person's bundle. So I'm going to go to this person's bundle, I'm going to click follow, I'm going to click on their picture to go to their bundle, and I'm going to switch it to sell view. And then I'm going to add the item that I want to send them an offer, but I don't want to send them a shipping discount. I'm going to add their like to their bundle. And then I'm going to press offer. And I'm going to send them a direct offer 
without any shipping discount. And I'm going to click submit. So through the bundle feature, you can send offers without shipping discounts, with a $4.99 shipping discount, or with a free shipping discount. I'm going to send them a different message, which I have saved on my phone as private offer, which reads, hi, thanks for the like. If you are interested in bundling, I am currently offering 20% off bundles of two or more. If you want this item only, I have sent a private discount. Please note, you will have to decline the current offer to add to your bundle. That ending part is very important. Because I sent them an offer directly through the bundle feature, they cannot add additional items to their bundle until they decline that offer. The reason why I mostly send a 10% off offer with the shipping discount rather than sending them direct discounts like this very often is because I want them to be able to add to their bundle easily or I want to be able to add to their bundle for them should they like any additional items. If I sent them an offer through the bundle feature, I would have to go in and decline the offer for them <laughs> in order to add items to their bundle, which I'll show you how to do now. So what you can do is you can go into the item that you set an offer on, you can click edit in the top corner, and you can go down to size, and you can change the size to any other size. And then you press next and list. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to actually cancel this person's offer, but whenever you change the size, the offer will disappear and the bundle will open up. The person will receive a message stating this item is no longer available bundle offer has been closed, something along those lines. The item is still available, it's just that I changed the size on them, so they couldn't purchase it using the offer I had previously sent. I want to show you another feature that Poshmark just released called Dropping Soon, which is scheduled listings. So Poshmark wants to create interest around listings. They want people to get excited about an item before it's even released for sale. So what they have created is a dropping soon feature, which allows you to draft the listing and then schedule its posting for a certain time in the future. Shoppers on Poshmark can see these listings under the availability dropping soon and they can like the items, but they can't yet purchase it. Whenever the item goes live, then they have the ability to purchase it. And I'm assuming that Poshmark sends some sort of notification to likers when an item goes live. If I go to shop right now, and looks like I'm looking for some Fabletics Capris, so let's stick with that. I'm gonna search for Fabletics Capris and I'm gonna go to availability, dropping soon. And there you go. People are already using the feature. You can see two items are dropping soon. Drops September 4th and drops 10 p.m. So this item is dropping today and the other item is dropping in a date further in the future. If I click on that item, you can see like this item to get a reminder when it drops. So I'm gonna like that item to see what happens at 10 p.m. Maybe I'll update you guys. Now what you can do if you wanna use this feature is you can go to sell. I'm gonna click on one of my drafts and it's not complete, but I just wanna show you down at the bottom under availability. This is where you can put in your drop time. So you can click on the drops and it says select within seven days from today. So you can go to, you know, whatever day you want. I'm not really sure why they went ahead and added every single day in the future <laughs> if you can only select seven days in the future, but it looks like that's what they did. But if you go too far out, the option to uh, choose that date is invalid. It says select valid drop time. So I'm going to go ahead and set it for a few days in the future. And then, you know, choose a time, 
in AM or PM and press apply. So now you can see drops September 5th at 4 PM. Which is kind of cool. I'm definitely going to test this feature out and I would suggest you do too. Mostly because people that are on the app or on the desktop version are going to be curious about this new addition to the app and they're going to be looking at what items are dropping soon. So your item will possibly get more attention now than it would whenever this feature is mainstream. So it might be a good idea to give it a shot. There's one more goodie I have for you guys. And this is for those of you that like shopping on Poshmark, which is probably all of us. <laughs> um, go ahead and go to a posher that you likes closet. So I'm going to click on her, Simply Bella. And I'm going to go up to the very top again, where it has the bundle feature. And this time I'm not going to switch to sell view. I'm going to click on the three dots under my bundle and I'm going to click Style Me, which is the second option under Add to Bundle. Do you remember whenever Poshmark put out the whole Style Me feature where you could request somebody to style you in a certain occasion? That was a really cool concept, but the problem with it was that you were having these random poshers style you from their closets that you've never seen or interacted with and have no interest in buying from really you're just hoping that they happen to be somebody that is your style well with this you can have a particular posture style you so if you already are in love with somebody's closet and you don't want to take the time to build yourself a bundle you can ask them to style you you can select an occasion to get styled by the person, which is you can either do warm weather essentials, casual weekend, workwear, trending now, or surprise me. If ever you get one of these notifications, keep in mind that you can view the person's size so that you can style them in the correct size by clicking the three dots and clicking on view my style card. And then you can see exactly what sizes the person is so that you can style them with the correct items. I just thought that was interesting <laughs> because that was one of the biggest complaints that people had with that style me feature was that it was random and you weren't getting styled by people that you actually wanted to get styled by. So the fact that it, it is possible to get styled by a particular person is so interesting to me. But yeah, I, uh, I hope that you guys found this helpful. You might have already known all that stuff, but I've been on this app for many years and I did not know about a lot of this stuff. In fact, that style me feature with getting styled by particular postures, I just found out last night whenever I was researching this video. <laughs> so I don't know why Poshmark doesn't really push information out about their new features. I was even reading an article online about Poshmark's features and they didn't talk about any of this stuff. <laughs> They're like, this is an all-inclusive list of our features. It's a one-stop shop. You won't have to go anywhere else. And then I read it and I'm like, this tells me nothing. <laughs> yeah, this is great for somebody that's brand new to the app, but somebody that's been on it for a long time and wants more in-depth information about your features, this is not helpful. <laughs> I don't know why you don't have notifications telling us about these things. The style card? I didn't know about the style card for years. I don't know when the style card was released, but I had no idea about it. I didn't know that it showed people's size. I didn't know it showed us that you could see if a person has purchased from you before. That's extremely helpful information. I think that's something that people ask for every hackathon. Like, give us a little star beside someone's username or something so that we know if they purchased from us before. We have a way to see if they purchased us from us before, but it's just not super obvious. I mean, it's not perfect, right? Like, this is kind of a workaround. You still have to have the intuition, I guess, a little, like, spark of maybe this person has purchased from me before to even go and check to see if they have purchased from you before, but at least it's in the app. 
and it's easily accessible rather than scrolling through all of your past orders and trying to find the person's username, which is a lot more challenging. But yeah, I, uh, I'll, I'll try to make some more videos about Poshmark features if you guys are interested. Um, if you have any helpful information about Poshmark features that I did not mention here that you think are extremely useful for selling on Poshmark, please let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear about them. There's probably a lot more that I don't know about, honestly. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope that you have a great day. Bye!